Hello, this is Richard Cespedes, and uh, I'm here with another video to, uh, I, I, I recently bought some, uh, um, MJ Super Pro, uh, Michael, you know, Michael Jackson Moonwalk shoes from, uh, the celebrity clothing store that they have online, and, uh, and, um, I waited, it, it, and the shipment was actually as quick as hell, the shipment only took maybe like, um, two weeks, uh, I mean, a, a week and a half, almost two weeks to get here, from, from the initial purchasing, it only took two weeks, from there, in two weeks, it came, so, like, it, uh, the shipment and everything was quick, um, that's, that's a plus, and, um, and, uh, the, the, pro uh, and, and I want to talk about the quality I want to talk about the quality of the shoes. I want to talk about how well the shoes work. I want to talk about just 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 everything about the new, the MJ Super Pro shoes. These ones are the middle. These aren't because there's three different levels on the Celebrity Clothing Store for Michael Jackson shoes, Moonwalking shoes, and uh, there's one that's the low one. That one's the nine. Uh, $98.99, I got the middle one, that's $169, and then there's the, the ultimate, you know, super pro ones, which is our, the, the deer stag, um, $199, but I got the one in the middle, just the, the ones right in the middle, and I want to talk about, I have some comments about the shoes, and it's, it was $169, but you have to, ha you have to set, you have to give them $55 for shipping and all that. And there's the box right here. I already opened it already. And here is the, this is the brand that it came. Immediately, it was kind of questionable, you know. Just the, uh, it just kind of seemed like, kind of like a, a shoe that you could purchase on online, you know, from a company, you know. And this is the company, it's a uh, Weijin's. GH Bass and Co. Bass and Company, and it comes in this case and it has you know the basic, very basic kind of stuff. And it's a, uh, uh, and these are, without further ado, these are the sh actual shoes that came in. They're very, they're kind of you know they're dark, but the one thing that I want to talk about. Is uh, let me get some light, light. These are the shoes. They're very nice penny loafers. Very very nice. They're very basic design. A very basic penny loafer design. Very nice. Very polished. Everything inside. It's like a a black kind of like a material. It has a sign in it, and it has the Weijin genuine leather, all that stuff there. And I want to talk about specifically how the shoes work in in dancing. The shoes are very nice. They look the the leather on top looks like it's very durable. It'll last a long time before it starts to crease. But the problem that I have with the shoes, and it's not this so much as this. I want to buy some shoes that had a good quality leather sole and heel. Now one of the things I'm disappointed about is that when you go on celebrity clothing store online, the Michael Jackson Celebrity Clothing Store, you um you get pictures that are different from the actual product that they send you. In the in the pictures the leather was not shiny. It was more like a, like um, I can't explain it. It was more like a, just a, I wouldn't say dull material, but more like um, a material that just wasn't shiny. But it was a nice looking material. It looked like it was leather, but it wasn't a shiny black leather. It was it was a nice. It wasn't bad leather, and the photograph it wasn't shiny. But you know, but the most problematic thing is this right here. This right here is a sign of uh, 
low quality leather, you know. I, I, I don't know what kind of leather there is. But the leather on the picture was a light skin tone leather, not a dark tan leather. You know, and this leather, you can still make finger imprints, nail imprints into it, which has, which for a dancer, you do not want a leather that will rub off so easily. You want a leather that is polished, hard as a rock, and that is um, durable. That can withstand at least a year before it starts to show wear and tear. And, bef and then you have to go back and get it polished again by a, by a cobbler or whatever you call those guys that, that kind of help to maintain leather classic leather shoes. I was doing the snake glide just to see how it would look, uh, how it would perform with these shoes. And this is what happened by just, I wasn't even putting any work into it. I just put the, my, my, right, my right foot down and put a little bit of pressure and started to do the, you know, the backwards kind of glide shuffle thing and this started to rub off that's exactly what my other shoes that I purchased from Dillard did this this is what I'm disappointed I'm very disappointed in the quality of leather for $169 there's a pair of shoes in Dillard's in the mall close by that has a light skin tone leather that's hard as a rock that's durable and it doesn't rub off because it, you know, it doesn't have this, uh, this, this coloration. And it's polished and it's hard as a rock and I was very impressed. And the thing that sucks about these shoes, not only are they, uh, the quality, the strength and the durability is not that good. But it doesn't work, does, does, does not work worth a damn on carpet. Good quality, danceable leather shoe, penny loafer shoes. The sole is supposed to be danceable and glidable on carpet and supposed to be danceable and glidable on almost any surface, regardless if the surface is polished or not. You know, and these the soles do not help hardly ever. They're just kind of like there to kind of skid along. And the other problem is not so much a problem. I, I thought that these rubber rubber heels were gonna be an issue, you know, because on the picture. This is another problem, you know, uh, not only was the sole leather uh, not a light color, they also didn't, they, they were not truthful on the picture because the, the sole of the, the heel was supposed to be half leather and half leather, half, half leather and half, half rubber, I mean, this is all, this, this is a different type of rubber, so that's also, that's also, uh, um, they also lied about that in their pictures. But what's strange is that these shoes are only good for moonwalking. That's all they're only good for. And and you can't even perform the moonwalk well. Now, let me explain. The leather heel helps a lot. It actually does not hinder or stop you at all. It actually does not do that. And it's truthful. It doesn't stop you. You know, um, and actually, with a little bit of work and a little bit of nudging, it gets stuck at first. But then, when you kind of put a little bit of pressure on it, and you kind of push, the leather works almost as if it's like oil on the heel, and it's very smooth. The le the I mean, the the rubber and the heel actually works like oil, and it's very smooth. And it's surprising. I was very surprised at that. It doesn't stop you at all. It actually works very very well. And it, but the only problem is, is that you cannot, you can't perform the side glides, you can't perform the the heel spins that Michael Jackson does, you can't, you can't experiment. You know, with me doing a snake glide, this is what happened to the bottom of it. You know, you want some durability and some strength and some flexibility to experiment and do different moves, inventions of your own. But the heels actually are pretty damn awesome. They do help you with the moonwalk. You know, that's 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 like a plus, plus, plus for these shoes. But the problem is, is that you can't perform the moonwalk like you're supposed to. The appropriate way to do the moonwalk is that the sole of the shoe and the heel of the shoe is supposed to be completely connected to the floor. Both connected to the floor 
with the appropriate amount of pressure and weight to distribute and push you back, creating the illusion of walking backwards. The problem with these shoes is that the heel is doing all of the work and the sole of the basically the sole of the shoe is lifted up above a few centimeters off the floor as you can see it's my arm is the floor and it's like basically you're just kind of like going like this on the floor of course it's not that high the gap is not that high but it's a few centimeters and the heel is doing most of the work which is kind of strange because it being rubber you would think that it would stop you and this would be pushing you doing all the work but it's actually this it's a strange, it's kind of a strange rubber. I'm very surprised by it. With the with the right amount of pressure and a little bit of a a little bit of just a little bit of nudging, it, it doesn't get stuck. It gets stuck a few a few times, but then once you get into the groove of it, it glides like butter. It gl glides like water, like you're on oil or something. But the problem is, is that you know you're gonna be catching yourself doing the moonwalk with just the heel itself on the floor. And subconsciously, when a person, you know, this helps people that suck at the moonwalk. I'm not that good at the moonwalk. I'm, I'm still barely perfect, perfecting it and mastering the, mastering the moonwalk. But if you're not good at the moonwalk, this actually does help to kind of give the illusion that you actually know what you're doing. Because of the heel's balance, the area... And because of the glidability of the rubber itself, the strange glidability of the rubber itself. It's very strange. It's a very strange shoe. But the only problem is that, and you could do the earth walk too. You could do the earth walk forward and you could do the back, a backward back slide. So that's a plus. But uh, the thing is though is that you're going to be catching yourself doing the moon walk or earth walk with the, just doing the most of the work of the heel. And as and for impersonators, if you want to do the moonwalk per appropriately, the moonwalk is like the home run. The moonwalk is like um, it's like the highlight of your performance. It's like uh, it's like the flavor that everybody you know. It's like the it's like the the cool scene of the movie that everybody wants to relive. You know, if you don't do the moonwalk appropriately, you, you're not gonna you know. It's not gonna people are gonna subconsciously know that there's something not right because the heel is not connecting. I mean, you can do it together, but you're going to be catching yourself doing it with just the heel. And impersonators need to work on a good glidable floor and putting both the weight on the heel and sole together. Don't rely too much on the heel. If you can do that, then the shoes will work perfectly. But most of the time, you can be catching yourself doing it with just the heel. But the shoe itself is pretty good. The leather is crappy. It's not a good strong. Like I, I don't know about leathers. I don't know the differences. But but now I'm starting to realize. Maybe I'm wrong. But the dark tan leather heels. I mean soles. Are not the ones you want. You want the light. High quality. Hard as a rock. Highly polished. Durable. Leather. Sole and heel shoes. Light skin tone. Looking heel. Uh, sole leather and sole heel penny loafer shoes those are the ones you want durable hard as, hard as plastic hard as rock that's what you want avoid the ones that are tanned because what I've noticed is that the tan ones are the ones that are crappy as you can tell it's not even that polished you know and when you knock on it it's kind of a basic very loose it's loosely molecule binded, fabric binded, fabric binded kind of uh, I mean uh, fiber, fiber binded material, and when you have appropriate, it's kind of like it's much more tougher. The other leather, the higher quality light skin tone leathers are more qual more stronger than this. And uh, the shoes are pretty good for one hundred sixty nine dollars. They're good for moonwalking and earth walking, but you have to be on the specific danceable, smooth, buffed floors for the heels to be complementary and the soles to be complementary to the floor. The look of the shoe is very nice, but 
there's no room for experimentation because I like to experiment when I dance and these shoes I've, I'm very disappointed you know I'm very disappointed in shoes I'll, I'll keep them and what I'll do is I'll just purchase I'll go to a a shoe repair shop and have them remove these and remove this and put some very high quality light skin tone leather durable hard as a rock smooth leather they'll make me ex allow, allow me to experiment and uh, they actually smell pretty good it kind of reminds me of a Super Nintendo box when I bought a Super Nintendo when I was a kid you, you could smell the the uh, the, the, the manufacturer um, building you know like the material the it smells kind of like a Super Nintendo like opening a new Super Nintendo box in the 90s like the manufacturers um, smell almost I can't explain it um, but they're good shoes they're good strong shoes but they, they suck you can only do the moonwalk and the earth walk but you can't experiment you know you can't really do anything you can't experiment side glides are okay but I haven't really broke them in so we'll see how it looks if it turns out right I'll be doing some new snake glide backwards faster snake glide moves more improved but if I don't you you won't be seeing these in them they look similar to the other ones but I'll end up using the other ones and it's a good brand but I'm pretty sure these guys have other types of better shoes that I could have purchased direct from online instead of from the clothing store but I'll just replace the bottom sole and the bottom heel with a better quality leather and I'm disappointed in the shoe the picture from the internet is not the same as the shoe from here so it's supposed to be half and half leather and half rubber but uh don't buy the shoes from them just get yourself a pair of shoes basic penny loafers go to your shoe repair shop you know call them up and call uh Make sure that they repair leather soles and heels and you know all that stuff. Make sure that you go to the right place. And for sixty dollars, here in Las Cruces is sixty dollars. Other place might be eighty dollars, but you can replace the sole and heel for sixty or eighty dollars with the the perfect strong durable leather. And you'll need to be going online and purchasing shoes, mystery shoes that might turn out to be wrong, and just hope you know. Just go and buy, change the bottom of the heel and sole. Doesn't cost nothing. You're not gonna lose an arm and a leg to replace the heel, the the heel and the sole of the of the penny loafer shoe. Just get yourself some good quality. What you need is you tell them that you want hard, hard as a rock, practically almost plastic, uh, leather material, stiff, light skin tone, light skin tone leather and um, smooth and glidable tell them to buff it out and smooth it out tell them to buff and smooth out the heel and sole of the shoe so you want light skin tone tough hard as a rock hard as plastic leather that's smooth and buffed out don't get the dark tan because the dark tan is like they use those to make purses and wallets and like the top of boots and things like that like you know don't get that get the light skin tone hard strong tough as a rock let bottom sole and heel and make sure it's polished and smoothed out it's shined and polished and uh, and that's all for sixty eighty dollars you can get that just get yourself some old penny loafers your dad's or or someone that you know and just kind of tell them to kind of repair the top and just change the bottom of it and just for 60 for a hundred dollars I think all of that it's it's worth it you know you can experiment it'll last you a long time and if it becomes worn out it's gonna take months before it comes worn out you could polish it out and it's worth it don't you know it's not worth it you know the, these shoes did very disappointed but I'm just gonna keep them because the top is very nice and I was gonna replace these with better leather and better strong durable hard as rock leather for these polished out leather for these and hopefully the snake light will be mastered backwards you know and uh, and I'll be doing some other moves like the slick walk looks pretty damn good too and the LC spin looks good but uh, other than that this is rich sis it is for the 
unboxing, which I already unboxed before, shoes for the Michael Jackson, the MJ Super Pro Moonwalk shoes from the Celebrity Clothing Store. These ones were the $169, these ones were the middle price. I will, I will recommend just going and getting your own shoes, getting your own penny loafers, and just getting the bottoms replaced for $60 or $80. It'll save you a lot of money. And this is Rich Sisp it is. I recommend just getting your own thing. Do not go to a clothing store. If you want to get the pants and, and uh, if you want to get the, the shirts and all that, that's a good place. You know, it's not a bad place for sunglasses and all that stuff, but for the performance of the shoes, these guys don't know what they're... These guys don't know nothing about moonwalking or dancing. I'll tell you that much. But again, it's Ricky Cispedes. Thank you very much for watching.